Hello and welcome back to Citizen Pew. This is Citizen Pew Commentary. Today I'm going to be talking about the Canic TP9 SFX. And uh, this is, I will say, one of my favorite pistols in my collection. Just going to throw it out there. All right, <laughs> before we get started, I'd like to thank all my subscribers. Uh, thank you for watching this video. Give it a thumbs up if you like the video. If you're not subscribed and you like the content, please hit that subscribe button if you're not sure. Watch a few other videos, and then if you like the content, please hit that subscribe button. All right, uh, moving on. So yes, the Canic TP9 SFX. Um, it's a full-size 9mm pistol, and um, it comes in a variety of colors. I happen to have the, uh, I guess this is, uh, it has a name. I don't know what it is, but it's kind of a grayish, dark pewter look. Uh, really nice. Um, comes with two mags, but we're going to go over the uh, features of it from their website. And to do that, we're going to buy them. Go to my website <laughs> at citizenpew.com. You can go to my links tab, and then you can go over to Canic and buy them. It'll bring up Canic's website. And we're going to go to the TP9 model here and uh, go down. They have a number of models. And this is the TP9 SFX, the choice of champions, they say. Uh, MSRPs for $549.99. All right. Here we go. Um, so they have a number of pictures here that you can see and get an idea what it, what it looks like and everything. Um, now this right here, uh, that is the mag release, and it comes with multiple um i guess what you could say uh, heights or thicknesses of mag releases that you can change out and uh that's kind of a neat feature i'll go over it when we get off the uh, web page here um let's see here it is optics ready so you can take this off and it comes with a number of plates that you can put on and uh and uh for various optics <clears throat> it does have a loaded indicator on it uh, let's see here Here's the case you get with it, and I tell you what, it's really nice. You, there's your optic plates there, and then you got a couple different, uh, I think just one different back strap you can put on it. Get a cleaning rod and a cleaning brush, a little locking device for the trigger. You get a holster. I don't use this holster, but it's not a bad holster if you don't have one for it. You get two magazines, a mag loader, and you get a little um, tray here. And that tray has your alter, uh, your, uh, let's see if I can go back to it. It has your various sizes for your mag release. And then, I don't think I had a picture of the front optics, but uh, for the fiber optics on the front, it has various versions of those. All in a nice little case. Uh, pretty, pretty sweet deal, if you ask me, for $549.99. Now, you saw the footage I had at the front of the video. And um, that was just me at the range, uh, getting a few shots off. I have some more footage I'll show you here in a second, but I wanted to go over kind of the features that I like about this. So there is the mag release right there. And like I said, you can put various thicknesses on it. So it comes out, you know, um, various amounts. Now, Originally, it, when you when I bought mine, it had the the largest one on there, and it, originally I didn't like it, and I put on the smaller one, then the medium one, and now I'm back to it because uh, I, I like it now. So, <laughs> <clears throat> but um, it breaks down just like any other. <clears throat> Let me put it back together. It breaks down just like any other um, striker fire. You know, you drop the mag, pull the trigger, and then you pull it back a little bit and get my finger out of the way and then pull down on the levers on both sides and then the slide just comes right off so and just as easy to clean as anything else uh, now I will say on full size nine millimeters I have this Kenick um, TP9 I also have my Glock 17 and I have a CZ and I put them all in the same kind of category because of their size ammo capacity and everything full size pistols and I'm going to have to say, mm, the Canic is, in my opinion, far better, superior in quality and performance than my Glock 17. I'm just, I'm just going to, I'm going to say that. It is. 
No, it was regard to the uh, my CZ, which I'll do a review on it down the line here. Uh, it's very comparable. Now, I do like the trigger, I think, on my CZ better, but I would have to say of all of my pistols, the Canik here has the second best trigger from the factory. Um, yeah, I just, it's a really nice, really smooth trigger, in my opinion. Other than that, the ergonomics are really nice. It has the, uh, I don't know how they do that, maybe laser etched grip here on the front. has some knobbies on the, on the I'm sorry, on the sides, and then some knobbies on the front, <clears throat> and the back strap is knobbies too. I like that. I like the knobbies on the ends, and not so much on the sides. So, it's a nice, firm grip. Um, yeah, and I tell you what, uh, because of the sight radius you have here, uh, it's really good at um, recovering and staying on target. So, uh, contrary to what you might think from my my performance at the range with it. So, <laughs> but anyhow, uh, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna lie to you and put in all of my best clips. No, 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 I'm not that good. So, um, let's go ahead and take a look at that other footage I have. So um, there you go. That was my footage, uh, the second set of footage I have from the range. And like I said, this guy right here, uh, if you're looking for something full size for home defense, personal defense, um, or even using it as a competition type firearm, I did use this in one of my practical training events and it performed. I mean, it was just amazing how well it performed. And uh, I, the last event I did, I used my Glock 17, and I kind of regret it. I'm probably going to switch back to this guy. But I need to get myself a drop holster for it, um, that, the, like the one I picked up for my 17, and then I'll go back to using it. Um, but I'll tell you what, if you're on the fence, in my opinion, this is, this is a, great, a great buy for, for the MSRP of $549.99. Um, you, you're not gonna go wrong. This is this is one that I'm never ever gonna let out of my collection. I just I just I can't. It is it, it functions so well, has so many features, comes with so much for the price. Yeah, to me, it's a solid piece. So that's my opinion on it. Now you know to each their own. But I'd be interested to know what your thoughts are. Uh, I am looking at a compact model too to pick up, and so I, I'd be interested to know if. Uh, you have a compact version how well you think it shoots so by all means leave a comment in the comment section Let me know your thoughts. Let me know your experience with it if you have one and uh, Yeah I'm gonna recommend it so all right, that's all I got for you. That's my review um, If I miss something I apologize, but uh, like I said I, to me It's one of my favorite firearms uh, in my in my pistol collections and uh I, I just, I can't talk it up enough. So, all right, that's all I got for you. Uh, thanks for watching. Give the video a thumbs up if you like it, and have a good day.